Hey everyone, <clears throat> I'm back with another live stream. Uh, this time it's scrambled picks, and I've just listened to Boris Johnson, so I'm, I'm my brain's going a bit, blah, 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 uh, you know, with the lockdown and stuff. But yeah, I hope you're all okay. Uh, I don't know if anyone will come in because it's a week night and it's probably a little bit late. Um, but I'm aiming to play scramble picks, and it's running with Streamyard, so. If anyone wants to jump on and get it to be like a bit more of a chatty thing, then we can do that. But yeah, cool. Yeah, if you're in, if you're in, if you're watching it, then say hello, just so I know if there's some somebody there. Um, but yeah, cool. So if I just bring it up, it's uh, yeah, it's a Windows game, so you install it on Windows, but it's really kind of totally retro got that retro feel to it it's got retro graphics in it you know pretty cool so let's just turn the light on there we go oh yeah we've got clayton's irish den on are hey, you all right yeah he just started his own uh youtube channel so uh yeah check him out uh got some something that's close to my heart actually which is like scented candles i do like that kind of stuff like burning when i'm when i'm working so uh that kind of stuff always does always uh you know ring my bell sort of thing so yeah let's just see if anyone else actually says hello or turns up might just be the two of us um, but yeah you download i've put a download link in the description um so you can download it and it you don't even have to install it it's just an executable that runs so you don't get any kind of crappiness happening if you install it i hate installing windows games on this on this uh laptop uh, i just it just you know it's just crazy because you would deinstall it it leaves half the shit behind and you just like no but this is a really nice install uh Oh, I got Jeff on. All right, Jeff, how are you doing? Low spec Linux laptop. Yeah, I've been watching your uh, Star Wars playthroughs. Uh, you're doing quite a few now. Really cool because it's like a, it's a game I never played back in the day, but that's always interesting seeing you, seeing you play that. Uh, yeah, good stuff. So yeah, so like I say, running on Windows, Windows 10, so it's easy to install. But you'll see that when you run it up, you get choice of spectrum c64 atari 8-bit all that kind of business so uh, there's a few settings uh, so we can turn on raster lines or uh, crt lines you know as if you're using old tv but i find that that kind of dulls the screen down a bit too much so i prefer not having them on um, and it's a puzzle game so if we pick the spectrum, you'll see I've had a little go. Uh, I've got the commando screen, did spellbound, raid over Moscow, nodes of Yesod, a wonderful dizzy, and stunt car racer. Yeah, you're right. That's what I used to like about Linux because um, I did used to run. I think it, I think it was level nine adventures on Linux, so it was using the the interpreter for level nine, level nine that ran the the code um and that was really cool because yeah like you say they're all, also i think memory isn't it self-contained i mean i'm going back to when it was unix so uh, a bit before obviously linux but um but yeah i think i'd red hat when i used to run it but i haven't done that in years um but yeah because you can get emulators as well you can run or fuse uh i think the u in that is actually unix uh, so yeah, you can uh, can run all that stuff, but yeah, Linux is a you know it is a good, great alternative. I definitely do that instead of Apple. <laughs> right. So yeah, so we have got Commando, we've got Wonderful Dizzy, Stunt Car Racer. Uh, you can pick how many pieces you want in the puzzle. So it's like the slidey puzzles. Uh, I stick with twenty five, which is the default. Gives you a good run for your money. Um, so what I'll do, I'll, I'll pick one that I haven't actually done. So if we head to the next screen, so there's a hundred for the spectrum in collection one, 
and then there's also collection two and collection three so there's shed loads of stuff and it's free so you may as well just download it now uh wine yeah wine as well yeah it is it and it's what used to put me off a bit with linux was the sometimes the front end they tried to do a graphical interface and i couldn't i couldn't get on with it i enjoyed the command line stuff but the front end was a bit nah, you know windows at that point was better but i bet they've caught up with that sort of stuff so yeah beach Air, batman slap fight so this one i haven't played so number 10 if we click on it right so it's it's timing down the time is going up and basically you you if you know the screen, I mean, this is Beachhead or Beachhead 2. Uh, you can kind of gauge where they go by how stretched they are. So what size the, uh, square they need to go in. But I, I've forgotten half of these loading screens. So I cannot remember where, you know, where they go. But what I'll do, oh, actually, you can see those go next to each other. So maybe... Uh, let's try that one do that right so that one's now lit up so we know that's in the right place so we can do that we can uh th those two have fell into place so we need blue um so us <clears throat> i think the us gold stuff I mean, the, the one down there is really stretched out. So we want one that's really squished in. So we know that it will fill out that bit there. So I'm, I'd am i say that one, but that's at the top of Beachhead. So it could be that one. There we go. So now we know where that goes, that one there. And this one. Right. Also, it's on Windows, but it's on Android. So you can play this on your phone. You have to side load it. It's not... I don't think it's in the store so it's a bit a uh, bit bit unorthodox way of doing it um oh and dennis yeah if you if you do see this then you need to from my point of view you need to get an official website or put it on hio or something because i downloaded it from dropbox so it's a bit you know you kind of don't you lose track of who's downloaded it i think and it's just a weird place to put a game if you want to see people talk about it or review it even. So I think itch.io is, is a good place to put it on. So, right, enough waffle. And let's work out where the rest of this goes. So it goes there. Um, that one must be nine on us. Okay, that's fitted in there. So that must go there or there. Put that one there. Like I say, you're against the clock, so it is kind of crazy. But yeah, this um, full lockdown that we just heard, uh, I was just listening to it on the on the radio. It's unsurprising, really. Oh, where does that go? That must just go there. Oh, okay, so then that must go there. Um, brilliant that goes there so we need to get that US gold badge goes there no I must go there yeah once you get into the swing of it it's quite It's quite good. The bits start falling into place. All right. So now, 
Oh, that's in the right place. So where would the red line go? Like I say, I'm not familiar with these uh, screens. I mean, I know them if I saw them, but. Oh, that's already there. So. That's the little bit put in there. Um, that goes there. See, these are all blank, pretty much. Just a little bit unfair. That goes there. Does that go there? Yeah, you see these are, I don't even know if these are highlighted as, oh, there we go. Cool, so that took 322 seconds. So that was the original beach show. That was a good game, that. Take it back. So you see, yeah, I mean, some were even more difficult because I didn't even know what the screen looked like. Uh, let's try if we head back just back to the main screen look at a c64 let's try number three right what's this this is a digital integration game and so that's obviously wrong Cool, right, so we've got a starting point now. Uh, where's that other text? Digital integration. Oh, is that? Ah, you see, okay, I might have to turn it up a bit. So that's actually highlighted. I didn't realise that. Um, so there's a plane flying through the middle. Hi, Wayne, you're right. Thanks for joining. Uh, I've just done some specky stuff, actually, a, a specky loading screen. Uh, but I'll, I'll go back to that after after I've finished this one. This is a Commodore 64, so it's like a slidey puzzle, where you basically swap the uh, the segments over and work out where they, you know, to get the picture. But on this one, I'm not doing too well because I don't know. Don't even know what this is supposed to look like. That one must go there. Oh. No, you see, that's. Um, bah, bah, bah. Let's try that up there. Yeah, there's like. Uh, he's releasing versions quite often, so I, I don't know. Um, I don't know if there's a newer version than this, but basically he's adding content. So Spectrum demos, like scene demos and 64 scene demos. So this one is, is kind of flummoxing me. Like I say, you can see that's really stretched. So that won't fit in a, a segment that that's, that's that size. So I need something that the pixels look like they'll fit in at the, you know, and become the correct pixely size for want of a better phrase. Um, Oh, 
Okay, got that one, but that's doesn't really show us anything. So I need some stippled effect, maybe. Um. Oh, cool. All right. So low, low spec Linux laptop, Jeff has tested it on Wine version 6 RC4 on Linux. So it also runs on Linux, which is pretty cool. Yeah, thanks for checking it. That's one of those, like an experimental thing. Right, I need to see that will fit with there, but I need to, to work out the size of the block. So I need a Right, if I don't get any if I don't get any further once I've hit three hundred seconds I'll I'll go back to a spectrum one. Um Yeah, okay. So we we'll just carry that on later so yeah we've got a couple there that I did let's go back to the actually I'll look at the Atari first oh this might be a bit easier because it's writing and, and colored he says right what, what would this what game is this it's just that first piece So I'm going to put that. Yeah, okay. So the copyright is right at the bottom. So I need, where's music? Where's the rest of, there we go. So I need another white bit. Hmm. Hey, everything Nintendo, you all right? Just playing on this like a puzzle game that's got uh, retro graphics in it. Currently, it's the Atari 8 bit. Of a game that I've not even heard. I mean, what's that? Bad something? Bad, bad deal? It's got to be there. Yes. Okay. Oh, hardball. Yeah. Okay. Hardball. Hey, Dennis. Dennis came on. <laughs> You're right. Yeah, we're just ripping your game apart at the minute. Cool, yeah, a lot of people did start off from the like the um like sixty four on the spectrum and went on to Nintendo. 
uh, I know, I mean, I went on to PlayStation personally, but uh, through the Amiga. Uh, hang on, I'm not really, wasn't really concentrating then. Yeah, so, uh, oh, where's that bit that goes there? There we go. So I need, that goes there. Just put that in there. Hardball, yeah, so it's quite interesting the stories that people do about the the way they got from their earliest machine through to, you know, through to 16 and 32 and onto consoles. Oh, wicked. We got, yeah, PSX, PlayStation, and Amiga are coming to this game. So if you like either of them, then that's fantastic because he's, he's going to expand on the on the graphics. Oh, uh, Dennis, just so you know, um, Low Spec Linux, who's in the chat, he's tested it on Linux it, itself using Wine 6.0 RC4, and he said it works fine. So that is good to know. Yeah, there we go. So, okay, I could have done it a bit quicker. So that was Accolade's hardball. But, yeah, I've never tried selecting the pieces to be like 90 pieces. I reckon that would kill me. So, okay, so if we go back, I'll do a Spectrum one as well because Wayne might still be in the chat. Retro Robins might still be in there, so we'll do this. So you'll see that I did concentrate on these just when I was testing it, when I was playing it earlier, because they're the screens that I know more than any of the other two machines. But yeah, the Amiga and PlayStation, that would be cool. Uh, so, okay, let's pick this right on your marks. Get set, go. Oh, that's the... Uh, yeah, Hitchhiker's, is it Hitchhiker? Oh, Backpacker's Guide to the Universe, yeah. So I have to remember how this goes now. That's the first thing you do. It's just like, well, wh where was the green on the loading screen or where was the text? Because you can tell wh pretty much which goes next to which, but... So let's find... that. I'm sure that was in the middle somehow so you kind of just so I don't remember that being I'm guessing the planet will be higher up Ah, there is a new version. Okay. Yeah, this version was from the 31st, so it was a few days out. So there is now 900 puzzles. I keep forgetting I can do this. Sorry, I should really concentrate. But yeah. So there's new version. A lot more done to it. It's user I mean, it's pretty user-friendly now. Uh, Specky, so we've got MSX, CPC, and SNES. All right, yeah, I'm not bothered about them platforms. <laughs> no, I am. Uh, so, yeah, so there's going to be a shed load of stuff. So there's no excuse, really. Um, yeah, Jeff's playing it. Playing it right now. Um, and there's a preview hint feature in the new version. It costs you seconds added to your time, but nice for a quick peek of roughly what's where. Oh, that's quite good. See, now I'm kind of, I do like the challenge, but, you know, maybe if you're on your mobile, kind of just click in just to see it. Uh, 
uh, version 1.10. Yeah, I think Jeff, if he actually got it just a minute ago from this, then he would have got the new version. Yeah, cool. No, I wasn't. Uh, yeah, it's it, um, no, it's good. It is good. I mean, I'd, I've been meaning to play it since before New Year's. Obviously, stuff got you know into the into the chat, uh, into the chat. God, into the uh, obviously with you know Christmas and stuff, New Year. But yeah, it's um, no, it's good. Right, I just wanna. I don't know if anyone's bothered, but if you want to come on and talk about it, Dennis, would you like to come on, talk about your game? Basically, you just get logged in and you'll you just be on the screen, you know, camera and everything. You can if you want. Um, yeah, he's just downloaded it, so that's uh, he's got the up-to-date one. So this is Start You Behind. Um, but yeah, the, uh, yeah, go on. Yeah. Dennis, basically, if you, um, if you hit that link there, don't hit, I mean, don't tap it, but cut, cut and paste it. In fact, I should be able to put it into the chat. I mean, yeah, anybody screw it. I just know sometimes that this can cause spammers to come on. Now, if I put it in the chat, that's now public. So you might get weird people coming on spammers and showing because i think that happened once on one that i was watching some bloke got his got his willy out and it's like what is going on because it was put in there but i can i can uh i can vet them before hi james you're all right you had a good christmas game zone bird room in the house as they say but yeah we're just playing this uh it's like a puzzle game you fancy coming on james Yeah, Dennis is coming on. He's the guy that wrote it. So, yeah, so in essence, um, loads of different screens. Uh, it's pretty easy, but it's not easy, if you know what I mean. But, yeah, let's have a look. Right, so I'll, uh, I'm just... Just take that off for a minute. So yeah, did you know, um, Dennis, you ain't got your camera on? No, that's. Oh, I need my headphones now, so I've got to take my hat off. Yeah, I need my headphones. Hi, are you on? I've just put sound on the moment. Oh, okay. Yeah, no worries. No, it's cool. Yeah, it's really good. Really enjoyed it. No, glad you guys like it. Um, yeah, I've, just, I've worked on it solid over the Christmas period now. Yeah, the, I mean, I saw a lot of the the updates you were doing, and it was like you you kind of you had a you, you know you released it with to test it almost, and then you were adding like pictures and because it must be it must take a while to say load a game, choose what you're going to take from it, whether it's the loading screen or what, and then actually kind of cut it and then put it into your code. Yeah, I cheat a little bit. I mean, I've been grabbing images where and where I can, um, but generally they're um, the wrong format or as long as they've got the right multiple and they're the right format, I can grab them and cut and copy them. But a lot of the time I'm picking stuff that doesn't seem to be the right format, if you know what I mean. But eventually, it's right, it's got a really big egg on here. Uh, removing oh. that kind of stuff just to get it the right resolution. Otherwise, it looks weird when you zoom it up. Yeah, I mean the just just to let you know the echo might be because you it's echoing through your speaker. Uh if you have you got phones in or anything? I'm using a headset, it should have been all right, but mm. yeah, weird. Um it it's normally okay. Um but do, you you're not echoing here though. So on the broadcast you're all right. That's good. Uh let me just um yeah, I was just going to, because the, it's all right, I've, uh, it's really weird. I'm using OBS and I'm using uh, StreamYard at the same time. So I've got to remember which is in which 
part. Uh, so yeah, if I uh, what I can do is uh, maximize that. Yeah, there we go. Let's just get rid of that. But yeah, so you can see the um, the game. But you've yeah, in this version, there's uh, there's quite a few. I mean, you've got for the spectrum what I mean it says a hundred there and that's a hundred just within that collection isn't it yeah and there's I think ultimately by the time I've finished there should be 10 or 20 categories for each one which like sets of puzzles basically I found there's some really good scene art as well so I'm going to add that yeah that would be um, cool there's for the spectrum there's there's a load of good stuff and even the stick well obviously the 64 as well um, but that'll be interesting because there'll be like if you put in PlayStation in, it'd be interesting to see if there's any scene art for that or you know for the NES. Exactly, yeah. Uh, there's that, and there's some really great. I mean, you've probably seen them, you guys haven't. I'll, I'll give full credit as well. But a lot of the um, reimagined loading screens are just fantastic, and they work really well on here as well. Yeah, oh, brilliant. Get, get an yeah. idea of what the what the actual hardware can do if the people really know what they're doing with it. Right. So, so it's like and Andy Green and and that yeah yeah no I'm really really impressed with it um, I'm just trying to if I just get back to the main screen so um, so will that you're basically trying to cover every every old platform aren't you every typical retro platform yeah exactly I mean, I'll, I know people can be not keen on having other formats maybe if they're favorites of one if you know what i mean but i think initially i was going to put different versions out one for specky one for commodore etc but it's right it's been, i'm trying to get rid of the echo it's really off point but i'm trying to work it out i'm hearing myself twice in my ear but it's, it's my setup sorry about this guys that's okay yeah i figured um it doesn't take much extra to hold the screenshots so it was easy to just make one with every format that i can think of um yeah yeah I mean, what what is going to be the newest system? What would you class as the newest retro that you could put in it, or are you just going to go through to, you know, PS three or four or something? It's tricky. No, you're right. It's tricky. I mean, I, I thought maybe start with the PSX. Um, I figured that was probably about the the latest I could make without people sort of not thinking it's retro. But maybe maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. I don't have any sort of retro nostalgia for the other systems. I mean. I used to like the Xbox One, the original one, but it's it's not it's still not really that retro in my book. You know, mm. classic yeah, no. pixel art, if you know what I mean, is what, I'm, what I was going for. I mean, this is a retro version of it anyway, but I'm also um, probably going to release it with different stuff, like random pictures and stuff as a different app, if you know, if people who aren't really into their retro. But for us guys, I figured it was a good way to start, put pixel art in there. That is, um, it it totally retro. is, and you've got the feeling as well, you know, with the... Uh... Like the sidebars, the loading, uh, loading lines, and what have you. Oh, it had to be done. It had to be done. That's totally. Uh, so I'm just trying just to work out over time. Yeah, yeah. And it. If if um if Rich is trying, is he trying the new Linux? He's trying the new build on Linux. You say yeah. Uh, he sorry, Jeff is yeah. A uh, Jeff, sorry, yeah. So yeah. you might have seen that they've got. I struggled for space, you see. I've kind of run out of space on the game. So what I've done is I've in the top, in the new version I've I've slapped a fake post it on there and lots of the updates and the preview and stuff appear on that, if you know what I mean. So if um, oh. if Jeff's seen that, I don't know if he's I don't know if he's playing that one particular version, but I've tried to tidy up the UE a bit in the UI. So basically um it's a bit easier to use, bigger buttons on mobiles. And uh, most of the stuff happens on the post it note now, just to sort of keep it retro looking. I couldn't put like a fake L C D screen on so yeah. Looks right, man. Ah, uh, cool. Yeah, I'll have to try that definitely. But it's uh, yeah, really enjoyed it. And I mean, Jeff has just said, yeah, he um, he said he might stick it on his phone because I think it works <laughs> well as a as a mobile phone. It might even take off more. Do you know what I mean? More as a as a mobile app than it does as a uh, you know as a desktop kind of thing. Although I'm I'm old school, so I'd, I'd use it on the desktop. But yeah, yeah. yeah. I'd bought yeah. the um 
the extra stuff to be able to develop it for mobile as well. So it seems silly not to make the Android, Android build. And then it ran okay, as you say. Um, tried it on Mrs. Jeff's um, uh, tablet as well. It works fine on that as well. A bit bigger screen. Cool. So I'm getting old. My eyes are getting worse. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know the feeling. <laughs> but I, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I tend to use a Kindle because I only really use those for, uh, yeah, well, I've got a Surface size, Pro. It? But I use a kit, yeah, you like the Kindle HD, whatever. But that's because of reading. You know, it's a good size for me to read from. Um, so I don't know if I could sideload it onto there because um, I know that the uh, it's an APK, isn't it? The file that you download. Yeah, so well, actually, actually, as of today, guys, it's now oh, yeah. on the Google Play Store. I've actually managed mm. to get it reviewed and sanctioned, so I've got a link if you guys want, which fantastic which straight to the GP store. Yeah, that would be cool because that's something that I did version. mention. I did mention earlier, like in the broadcast, was you had to sideload it onto your onto your phone or your you know your 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 tablet, um, and also you haven't got a real website. You haven't got like a it's not an itch.io or anything. But if it's in the store, then that would be really cool. Yeah, that's it. Well, I just had a spare page I could use on my site, you see, you know, the, the retro cabin. But the problem is they limit it to 20 megabytes and it's just gone past that with the new stuff. Oh, <laughs> so I had to un- change the link. That's unfortunate. Yeah, yeah. Because I think I got it from Dropbox or something. So that's it. Yeah. And, and Dropbox didn't seem like it was behaving the same for everybody or everybody either. So uh, this was better in the end. I just managed to get yeah. it through. Jeez. Yeah. And with, with Dropbox as well, you can't get people reviewing it or. You know that kind of thing. Like yeah. you could, you put it on I was it. looking to see if it was tell me how many people had even downloaded it, but I've got none of those tools. Hmm. Well, I think I mean itch. I don't know if you have to pay to go on there or use it or or what, but you could, that might be an option to put it on there. Uh, itch.io. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, to be honest, it'd be nice to get some reviews. Getting feedback and reviews is is one of the the highlights for me. Hmm. No, I don't. Well, definitely, because it, it, you know, it gives you. I mean, it gives you a sense of achievement. Anyway, I mean, you you know, you've created it, so to speak. But also, if there's any gripes that somebody's got, I mean, I can't see any, so I'm not. You know, to me, it's really playable. Um, but if somebody goes, "Oh, I can't read that," or "What does that do?" or "That isn't obvious," then it's it's a nice way to, to get feedback for that. So yeah, no, really cool. Yeah, exactly. Well, that's proven useful. I mean, a lot of people have done that already. I mean, uh, Andrew Canham and various people have uh, really helped me, you know, feeding back what didn't work, what did work, what what could maybe be added to make it better. Uh, it started off, um, you know, quite a basic thing, but as it it's evolved, it's, um, had a lot of user input, as I say. Uh, it sounds good for my <laughs> sort of wine stage. And looks works good. Just look for that. <laughs> um, I've got other ideas for it as well. So not only is it an unscrambler, which um, it's right, the dog's playing with its toy. Um, not only is it an unscrambler, there's another mode as well, which is sort of a, um, a reveal mode, kind of like some oh, catchphrase. Yeah. So what happens is you end up with the same sort of scenario, lots of random pieces everywhere, but they're all in the right place. So slowly mm. they'll start disappearing and revealing the picture. Um, and then you're going to figure out from a list of maybe 10 or 20 possible games what it is, tap on the one you think it is, how quick you do it within you know, the pieces is an, is oh. another mode it will be. And possibly party mode as well. So you've got each one's got a corner of the screen. So whoever thinks they know it is first can tap tap the screen. Oh, that's quite uh, good. Get yeah. So yeah, there's a few things is, I've got in mind for it. Is that in there now, or is that is that something? No, it's. That it's uh, I was talking to a friend of mine. I'm going to add it. Yeah, I mean that sounds really good because you know that would be perfect for like a Christmas. You know what I mean? Like you get yeah. a bunch of people around. Um, and then play it on, you know, retro people. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. If you've got a device that's a, you know, touchscreen device big enough to do it. I mean, I have tried doing networking before. I've got to get my head around that really. I'm quite new to this. But um, as I say, on one device, it works really well, sort of party play. Um, but the networking side is something that's looking at as well. If, if multiple people can have a copy loaded up and they've got to figure out what it is in, you know, sort of network play. But that's going to be further down the line if we want to get a bit better at the the system I'm using. Yeah. I haven't figured yeah. out network plane technological yet, so I've um mm. revisit that. I mean it sounds it looks good what you've done so far if you've only just picked it up to learn. Because I mean how what language do, is it written on? Is it the same for Windows and then you, you wrap it you put it in like a I don't know a Google wrapper or something. 
that then creates the APK, or is the two yeah, sets? Of... It's it's you're right. It's it's one system. It's I mean to be honest, I'm, I'm using Game Maker to actually write it in, but I'm using the language rather than the drag and drop. I just much I just work much better with language, um, even from the coding days on 64 and all that. But um, mm. but it, it will actually output to various systems. I think the actual um, ability to write to different systems is better than most systems. It's not like it uses those wrappers that slow it down. Hence, um, on some of the systems that I've run it on, fired it on different targets, you know, like iOS and stuff, um, you get like about 2,000, 3,000 frames a second if you don't slow it down. So it's definitely got the power to do it. And even though it's, um, as you say, potentially using wrappers, but I, I don't think, I'm, I, I'll start again. I tried Game Seller before. That uses wrappers now to actually get on other systems, and it's really slow as a result. So this one seems uh, a lot better. Oh, brilliant, brilliant. I've That's... got the ability to create iOS, so I just need to fire up my Mac and actually uh, build uh, an Apple version of it as well. I have actually got the ability to do uh, Linux as well, natively. Mm. So um, I've tried that with Tetralogical. It seems to work fine, but uh, I just have to get another Linux box set up to be able to do it. So anyway, there's, a lot of, there's a de now that's cool because there's a, there's definitely a lot of scope for it, you know. And it's, the, I mean, the, the question on everybody's lips is, will there be a Spectrum Next version? Well, actually, I, I, I'm not developing on the Spectrum Next, so to speak. I know, I know that it uh, it's apparently quite an easy system to, system to develop for, but I'm kind of stuck with this system. But um, when I first heard you say Spectrum Next, then I was going to say I was getting mixed up because uh, people have asked for a category for it, for like ULA Plus and Spectrum Next, um, mm. that kind of you know graphics. So I don't see any issue with adding a section for it. But in terms of actually building for Spectrum Next, I don't think I can quite do that just yet. <laughs> Not unless it's no. output something that's compatible with the um, of course. OS on the next. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's... Uh, yeah, I know Spectrum they've got a really next... good development system on it, haven't they? But I've, I've not actually played around with it yet. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, I guess it's a whole new learning curve, though. To, well, yeah. to some extent, you know, it's it's very. Um, it's not just something that you can plunk the code on, so to speak. And it's I'm an old dog. Proprietary, <laughs> yeah. New tricks never work. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, cool. So yeah, no, really, really good. But yeah, thanks for thanks for coming on. Is there anything else you'd want to add? Um, any of you? I mean, I know you worked on a few other games, didn't you? Uh, yeah. Which I, I'm trying to remember. There was something that was like, was it like a defender? Um, sideways. Oh, it looked kind of like it, didn't it? Yeah. Like Gravity Star, which was sort of like a inertia, thrust, gravitar type thing, which kind of on hold at the moment. So I was just working on a tetralogical and the other stuff, but I, I need to revisit that because it's actually. In my humble opinion, a lot of fun, but um, not many people have tried it really. Um, it's kind of like a mix between Gravitar, Thrust, and then um, you've got uh, time trials, skill trials, races, that kind of stuff, um, but all sort of with the same control method as you would have had it, say, in a game of Thrust. So, literally getting around a cavern system as quick as you can, or or doing various things like landing on landing pads, hovering in certain areas, um, shooting targets, that kind of stuff. Um, yeah, it got to quite a good point actually, but. Um, Again, I had to put it on sort of pause while I was trying to figure out bits that I needed to do on Tetralogical because it was released on Steam. And then I got sidetracked and started the writing Icarus. I don't know if you've seen that one. That's the old school side scroller I was working on. Oh, I um, th I think that's maybe, the, I'm not sure because I'm, I'm maybe I'm getting maybe getting two games. Icarus sort of looks up. like a SNES slash Mega Drive type shoot em up. Uh, yeah, I'd have to have a look. I can't honestly remember. I think I'm getting mixed up with two. I think I'm putting them both into the same game somehow um but yeah um i just remember because uh, really? i spent a, a lot of time a couple of years ago when i was starting to buy all you know we you sell your retro when you're young you sell your old stuff and then you, when you get to a certain age you think oh i'll buy some i'll buy the old level nine adventures that i used to have or do you know what i mean or urban upstart or something i ended up at your site your um oh, okay retro cabin is it retro cavern that was it yeah retro cabin mm -hmm. Yeah, and I and I, I was looking through, and I think yeah, I got um, I'm sure I got Urban Upstart, a couple of cassettes from it, um, and I think that was when I saw you were working on some sort of game, um, 
again, I can't actually remember what it is, what it was. Um, but it was, yeah, it was going round. So, I've yeah, been I, mean, on Sheena, I think I've not. I think that there would there seemed to be, a, I'm sure there's a couple, at least a couple on there. But it was kind of because I was focused on buying the, the, you know, the ZX Spectrum stuff. I wasn't really taking any notice of, of that at the time. It was yeah. only when, in fact, when you mentioned about this game last year, that I thought, oh, I'll go back and have a look. And, you know, went to your, went to your site, had a look at what games are on there. But you haven't put this on. It's not that I could see. It's got your old stuff, but not your, yeah. uh, not this one. No, that's a good point. I mean, some, it's a bit of a shame, really, because I invested a few years into the old system, and it wasn't great. You know, it got bought, it got bought out, and then they turned it into some kind of educational product, and then it just was broken all the time. Couldn't build the game, couldn't upload it uh... to the store. So, unfortunately, the ones that I wrote before, I've got a um, cat flap, which looks like Flappy Bird, but it's nothing like it in terms of skill required. Uh, it's like old school risk and reward. Uh, and then it's Courier Chaos. I don't know if you ever saw that, but these games, no. uh, Courier Chaos, I was really pleased with. I think it's really playable, really fun. It's kind of like Paper with a Parcel. But the problem is trying to rebuild that again in Game Maker Studio from scratch would be horrendous. So I haven't listed it generally because I can't update it. And um, uh... there's still a point where they'll pull it off the market, pull it off the store because it's got, I don't know what's worth it, old API, etc. on it. So right. I've only listed a couple of new ones I've put on there. But I'll have to do it, to be honest, because I mean, obviously even just for posterity and just having the links there for the APKs and stuff. I should yeah. Put no, it does, does make sense because it. I mean, I just remembered you know, I linked your name to to that site, so that's why I went back and had a look at it. But yeah, so are you, st are you still selling your stuff, or have you, uh, you know, have you sold it all? Or, yeah, yeah no, no, it's, I, I basically, uh, I just I just went through this crazy period of buying everything I could get my hands on retro, you know, to as we all do, you know, to, to just all pack collections and get everything we couldn't get back in the day. And then it got to the point where it was just crazy, I think, in the end. I mean, before the big sort of years of eBay and stuff, you know, it was a case when people would just list their entire collections and, and then you'd like just, you'd, you'd be amazed at what you'd got by the time you turned up at wherever it was. So the thing is, um, yeah, I was just trying to basically sell all that on there and get space back because my entire house would it. Luckily, I haven't got the camera on, but I could have, show, I could have shown you how much space was taken up in the, in the house, okay. <laughs> my daughter's bedroom, back rooms, etc. So that's oh, all wow. in the back of the, um, uh, back of the house. Uh, the, well, say the retro cabin itself. And there's some kind of outbuilding I built. A um, couple of, well, a few people have visited it. Um, basically, they they know what it's like, but it's all in there still, and it's slowly just getting sold off. But yeah. um, my main passion is uh, making games at the moment for some reason. But there you go. But, yeah. uh, the, the actual selling my old stuff pays the bills. The games definitely do not pay the bills. Um, no. I think I've got £37 in about three years for a cat flap. Um, <laughs> but, um, I think Tetralogical, if you've seen Tetralogical, which I, I think is one of my best ones yet so far. Uh, it's a different twist on Tetris pieces. Uh, strategy puzzle game. That's on Steam. And I got it, it was like £1 odd. But the thing is, again, I mean, over two years, that's probably got about £700 back over two years. Um, mm. And selling at a silly prices at sales and stuff, it's all kind of mounted up as pennies. So it's never going to pay the bills. <laughs> no, um, it's, I think it's, if I can get multiplayer, and it might do, but uh, I'm losing hope in that now. I think, I think it, it. Sorry, carry on. I'm done. It's echoing, sorry. Oh, yeah, it's, um, it's one of those things that. You, you, I guess the advertising maybe comes into it, but also the type of game is it's very you do you, you know you do it for yourself, you do it to do it, you do it because you love it, and then if it if it kicks off, then brilliant, fine. Um, yeah, it is quite a bit of a hobby, really. Exactly. To be honest. Mm. Yeah. I figured if you know if some if something does well or the ideas as well and even you know it, something like this which is free completely you know if a lot of people take it up and I, I get you know maybe a lot of feedback from Google Play then I know at least maybe it's a playable game to to do another version of or something but um it's like retro snippets challenge I don't know if you ever saw that uh, uh, it rings a bell yeah it's it's uh I mean I put a lot of effort into that as well if you guys if you guys can find it live on the store I'm not too sure Google are reviewing it again now because of a uh, um, age, age, and thing. I had to answer some questions to say it was all right for any age. But basically, that that game there is another retro themed game. It's got about one thousand eight hundred puzzles in it. 
And it's basically oh, yeah. names of games snipped up randomly and five per board. So you have to figure out which bits of which game matter uh, and go together, if you know what I mean. So again, if, if you guys you like retro, you might like Retro Snippets Challenge. It's free, there's no ads in it. Um, well, there's like two little tiny things at the bottom of the screen, which is just my little graphics for Retro Cabin. That's all it is. Nothing, nothing obtrusive. Yeah. But, uh, but again, that was a game I wrote for free. One of the other Christmases as a sort of Christmas busy for everybody. But um, that seems to go down well. No, good stuff. But I think that this is definitely suited for mobile, though. I think yeah. that's Retro the... Snippets is on mobile as well. Is it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, there is a certain kind of game that does, uh, you know, does fit in, and this definitely does. And it's, you know, I can't see anything that I'd change personally with it. I think it, it fits together really well. It's a shame I didn't get the uh, the new version. That's the right. It's the, it's the, <laughs> it's the it same thing. The game is just great. Yes, yeah, that, that was the thing. It was something a bit different as well. It was kind of like chill, something to chill out to, um, you know, and it's it's retro and it's, if you know this, if you know the screen itself, it's like, oh yeah, I know where that is. Click, 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 done it, brilliant, got a, you know, a good score. But if it's one you're not familiar with, it's like, oh, okay, so that and that fits together. But based on the stretchiness of the pixels, it's going to fit in a block that's smaller than than the the big block it's in. If that makes sense. So exactly, yeah. So you know the wrong shape, or the right shape it should be in. Yes, yeah. Which I I kind of you know I do find that that's fun. No, yeah, good stuff. Not really stressing, okay. you know, it's completely in the wrong sort of the wrong, you know, shape. But uh, I mean, the new version, I'm not so sure if that version you've got there does that. But the new version, um, if you click on the wrong pieces or they're in the wrong place, they'll go red. And if you get it in the right place, it'll sort of rapidly flash white a few times just to show you it's in the right place. Okay, um, let me just, I can just try that now. Um, can you see the screen? Yeah, from good. yeah, good. Okay, so you, you can see, see pieces. I just, I just realized actually, yeah, you've got no sound effects in that one, have you? No, I've turned. I it's right. Okay, this is to do with. I'm using uh, yeah. OBS to stream through Streamyard, uh, and from OBS to Streamyard, the sound doesn't carry across. So I thought, oh, I could get away with it, you know, because there's little ditties. Uh, but for the point of demoing it and you know and uh, playing it, no, it makes uh, sense. I yeah, just, I was just trying to figure. Visualize which version you had, but I thought you mean you've got the sound options in this one, which means the sound in it. So it's not that not that far back. Yeah, um, but it has changed it's... massively since the last one. Uh, the screen is in the center now. There's controls on the left and right instead, because I don't know if you noticed the power button at the bottom. If you get yes. um, if you get like a Samsung Edge or something, then that appears on the actual edge bit. So it's a bit more tricky to push. So that's moved now. Mm. The new version. It's a bigger button further up and so on. So so lots nice of things have been put in a better place for mobile players. Yes, yeah. So it's all about the screen, uh, the screen layout. Um, yeah, I don't know if I mean this. I think it was downloaded the thirty first. Uh, yeah. In fact, in the description, I can check after. But believe, believe it or not, in those few days, the last few days, I've done a massive amount of change. <laughs> Sod's law, really, isn't it? But yeah. nice one. <laughs> So yeah, it's. Um... I had to stop telling people every time I made it change. I felt I was spamming the groups. You know what I mean? I think they were probably just good enough. <laughs> <laughs> I think you you did say, oh, I've 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 kept the download link the same. Yes. So you know, so at least it's it's not a different link for different versions. But yeah, that I mean that's why itch.io is quite good for this sort of stuff. Uh, a lot of game makers seem to seem to use that, and you can yeah. donate as well. So. Yeah, yeah, I'll have to look into that actually because I've I've got st I've got um I think I've got Tetralogical on it as well so and um so yeah I'll have to add I'll have to add this too I think definitely and the other thing about being on Google Play Store of course is once I upload it now you guys will know it if you grabbed it off Google Play yes and it, it to be it's kind of like it's a trusted source as well or as trusted exactly, as it yeah. can be there's a lot of people who are unwilling to grab it from a Facebook page understandably. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I I wouldn't. I've never actually done that, so I'd be like, I'm in an R, and is it worth like learning it, so to speak? But oh no, nice one for getting it on the on the store. Yeah, and you'd have to know me pretty well to trust me to be able to grab it exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so it's um, like I say, I've done. Yeah, I mean, look, I don't know the times. Uh, I'm just looking. Yeah. 
you know, 940. So you can tell I didn't know what the screen was. And it was like, oh, God, where does it all go? But, yeah, really fantastic. Yeah. I mean, it, it is some of them are really difficult. Because once you start looking at a screen on a, on a bigger screen, those square, those square 8 by 8 character blocks, um, and especially with the clever position on some of these graphics, they don't make a lot of sense when you've got a little square of it, you know? You know so it yes. is difficult on a... There was, For the 90 I mean, pieces and the 60 pieces, I'm going to introduce a, a game save so you don't lose your progress halfway through. Right, because it takes so long. I mean, like yeah, I said guy, in the intro... The guy who plays it only on 90 pieces and he asked me for a save game feature, I said, yeah. Oh, poor bloke. Does he like putting himself through hell, basically, <laughs> in a good way? Oh. But yeah, it's... Um... Yeah, I think 25 is what I play, is what I... Yeah, I, it, seems to. Be, it seems to be the right amount, to be honest. Um, yeah, and it's, it just works well. You know, you can see the pieces. I was going to change um, the algorithm because I know it's... Is that... Some of the pieces like are really big and then some of them are tiny and on a mobile phone it's quite hard. But then I tried, I tried adjusting it to say, okay, we'll only have a certain size on 25 pieces. But then when it tries to randomly cut the puzzle up, sometimes it gets to the point where it simply can't cut it up anymore. So I've had to leave it as it is. But to be honest, it works quite well because you might end up like this one. You get a lucky break with a big piece straight away, but the rest of them yeah. are small, smaller as a result. So it evens out in the end. I mean, that, that's... that purposely made it give you all wrong. Isn't it? Sorry, could you repeat that? I missed that. Sorry, I was uh, yeah, it broke up, didn't it? I was going to say I've purposely done it so that every single game it makes sure that there's not one single piece in the right place at the beginning, which makes it consistent. Then you don't get like a you know somebody gets a lucky game and gets a really good time, all of them will be wrong. So it doesn't stop until it's got them all wrong, and then it kind of gives you the puzzle. Uh, that's a good idea, yeah, because you 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 don't really think of that from a player perspective, but you have to check for that, yeah, when the when it's initialising the the screen. I mean, it's funny that I started playing this. This was the first, um, sorry, I can't remember. Was this 64? Yeah. Uh, on the spectrum. And I, I couldn't, yeah, I couldn't remember the, the layout. <laughs> so I had no idea if, like, you know, if that was down here or or what. And it was, um, it's quite fun doing it that way. But if I... Uh, what was the one here? Like this one. I, knew, I like to think that I knew a lot of these, but uh, yeah, I when they fired up, I was the same. I was thinking, you know, where's the commando logo? Is it bottom or the top? Yeah, that's yeah. A, that's this... a really bad one. Though, is this ATF one's awful because it's so so big and just one thing on the screen. This is a good example of where the preview is actually quite helpful. I struggled. With yes. <laughs> well, I I, I, I I didn't finish it earlier. I came out of it, <laughs> went onto the no. spectrum, but I I um. I mean, the other thing is there was one, one, and I can't remember which one, where there was like three that were black, uh, which is, I mean, that's just unlucky. That's nothing to do with oh, the program. Yeah, yeah, when it's black. And 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 I was thinking, do I add an algorithm which says if the piece is purely black, then do you not include it and do you resize it? But um, yeah. the thing is, because they're red and in the wrong place, it's a matter of just a few switches before you go, oh, yeah, that's in the right place there. It's not ideal, but it, but it seems to work quite well still. As yeah, it was. Before they were highlighting. In which case it was pot luck. <laughs> it wouldn't know if it's right until the whole puzzle was right. This way, at least, you get an idea as soon as you move a piece. Yes, yeah. No, yeah, really enjoy it. And it's it's good. And if you put in extra stuff in as well, it's definitely worth a download. Definitely worth a download. Okay. Well, no, thanks for joining us anyway. Yeah, that was no, no really, really good. The good news is because of them. Um, yeah, that's all right, no worries. As so, I put the screens are so small that uh, I I mean I can add a cap a set of a hundred screens is about three or four meg. So each one of those isn't very big to add to the actual total until we start Brilliant. developing um high resolution images like Amiga and ST. So it's still never gonna get a crazy size even when I put all the content in. So at the moment there's nine hundred screens in there and I think it's twenty eight yeah. meg on mobile devices, it's nothing compared. So so the great thing is the, the content in it won't really make it very big compared to you know high resolution image apps so it works well good stuff good stuff I, i've noticed that as well you don't actually install it which i quite like it's just like a self-contained executable yeah i'm not a fan of that just like got so much on my no. you know it just yeah when you install when you deinstall something like that and it's it, it leaves half the registry behind and you know folders and stuff i just thought you know so 
Yeah, just just for the uh, people listening, you basically you get an executable and you get a data file, and that's it, and it works like a dream. Yeah. Oh, cool. That's it, yeah. Good stuff. Okay. Well, th thanks for yeah, thanks for joining us. Um, no, talking you. about it. Let me have a chat. Oh, I didn't. Yeah, I mean, I, I didn't. I didn't know if you'd come on, so I was like, you know, demoing it and what have you. But yeah, really cool. All right. Well, I'll. I'll say bye. No, no, um, I'll just have I'll, to spot I... your um I have to spot your message and I was synchronizing the sites and this is a lot more interesting than what I was currently doing. <laughs> it's good to know. Oh, good I didn't stuff. even know what you, I didn't even know actually what you were doing when you actually messaged me to come in. And it's only when I actually went, Oh, I'll come in and join. And I thought, Oh, it's my game. You were testing my game, mate. So even better uh, bonus. <laughs> oh, cool. Nice one. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's all good stuff. And I'll I, yeah, I'll look out for the new version and play that in a bit as well. Uh you know, in another another episode yeah good stuff thanks rich and thanks guys for giving it a try appreciate it no worries and see you later cheers cheers see you. yeah that was really really cool so i'm gonna keep i'm gonna keep playing it i'm not gonna uh oh i think i just put him back in yeah no i'm gonna carry on playing it just for a little bit um i want to work out Uh, if I can just, so I'm getting confused now. I've got the game and the and StreamYard. Yeah, so the sound as well, um, which you're, which you are, ultimately I've turned it off. It's only because of technicalities with the streaming. Um, but yeah, it's really cool. So I'm looking forward to playing the new version of it. So let's pick, uh, let's pick another random 64 one, I think. I think I tried three, so I'll pick four. See, so, yeah, a lot of gra greys and browns. Good old 64. So this is Airborne Ranger. Oh, that was lucky. That's what uh, that's what Dan was talking about, is if you're lucky to get one straight away, you can kind of work from that. So let's, let's do that. Uh, need the other so yeah if you get the version now you'll get all the new the new stuff in it the new uh, machines new new graphics so let's just um so i just saw some oh, i'll just pause that for a minute Oh, we got Smoking Joe's Retro Gaming's in the room as well, in the chat, if he's still here. I hope you're doing okay. We've got a question. I don't know if... Ah, uh, there we go. So he's just saying, how do you exit the Android version? So you can get out. I can't get out of it on the phone. And uh, Dennis has just said, yeah, power button on bottom right should should exit. So that's what you're talking about. It's um, sometimes with the screen because of the size of it, it's a case of balancing it out. You know, how big do you have like a button compared to the gaming area? But I think that bit of technical support there has gone well. I think he's, he's probably managed to come out come out of the game okay let's get back to it um, great so we can move from the text to the to his head so we know roughly where uh, where's his neck no It's going to be stretched out, potentially. Something that's designed to be stretched out. Um, I 
Okay, it's like a jigsaw now. So do that. No. Get the brown border. So what part's that? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's already there. That's highlighted. It's definitely on the bottom. Because it's got brown there. Oh. Um. Yeah, so it's uh, so there's quite a few changes done. Let's have a look. Oh, I want to get at least one done. One Commodore screen. Trouble is, they're all browns and greys, aren't they? So they're very. <laughs> very similar. Um, I'm trying to work out what goes there. There's only that that's green. That's that's green, like where his neck would be. All oh, that one. Can't be that. Oh, hang on. There it is. That's the side, that's his arm. So what? That looks like his V-neck. Oh, it's there, God. Going blind now. Yeah, a good tip is when you're playing this, put your put your glasses on that work. That's good. So we need another bottom one there. That's the side. It's got to be that one. That one there. No. No. Hmm. Oh, that goes there, doesn't it? Yeah. And It goes there, and it goes there. Way nice one. So let's have a look. It's already as Dan saying, uh, PS, not, not sure I made this obvious, but you can pick any puzzle on any screen without having to unlock previous ones. Yeah, I worked that out. So if you if we go back, see there, I've I've jumped three. So on the 64, the screen one, and I've jumped uh, straight to loading screen four. There's no settings menu. There is no settings menu, just four buttons, bottom right. I got out swiping down and was able to use task managers to get out from APK download, didn't find on Play Store. Okay. So there's just four buttons bottom right. So that must be the uh, the other settings buttons. I got out swiping down, then was able to use task manager to get out from it. 
from APK download, didn't find on Play Store. Oh, so it's possibly an old version anyway, but it's not um it's not on the Play Store yet. <laughs> Said it's a cheap phone. Blame it on the phone. It's not I mean it could be yeah, it could be. It could be there's some sort of screen setting or something. But if it's not off the store, then it could be an older version. But yeah, cool. Well, I think I'll, I've got to go and get my dinner. <laughs> Excuse me, got to go and get my dinner now. I didn't manage to do it earlier because of Boris's broadcast. And then uh, jumping on here. But yeah, really enjoyed that. So yeah, look in the description, download it. It will be... Uh, on the Play Store, so you can download it onto your mobile phone, and it fits perfectly on on the phone. Really, really good to play. So uh, yeah, thanks everyone. And uh, download it now, basically. Let's have a look. Should be okay. So Dennis has said, should be okay. Weird using Mrs. Phone. Download from store. We'll upload a newer version which matches the latest. Yeah. I mean, everything's going to have glitches or not glitches, but, you know, like not everything falls to plan straight away. So, um, and it's early days for it. It's only been out a few weeks. So, yeah, really cool. Brilliant. Well, thanks, everyone. And see you next time. And cheers, Dennis, for coming on. Or Den. Yeah, thanks, Den, for coming on. Really good chat. And see you all next time. Bye.